Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And today we have an odd one for you. This little mini PC has an Intel CPU, but AMD integrated graphics. This mini PC came of course from AliExpress and we're very excited to open this thing up and see how it performs at about 500 bucks. Is it worth picking up? Well, we're about to find out, but first a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by BitPhoenix and their new Prodigy M 2022 case featuring a compact, sleek micro ATX design that comes in either black or white or with or without three ARGB fans and RGB strips built in with support for vertical or horizontal GPU mounting for GPUs up to 339 millimeters and support for up to 280 millimeter water cooling solutions. This case also performs very well thermally with a full mesh front, making it a great option for your next gaming PC build. We even use three of these cases for our monthly PC giveaway and all of the winners have been incredibly happy with these PC cases overall. Check the link down below to learn more and special thanks again to BitPhoenix for sponsoring today's video. All right, so once again, we have a mini PC here in the uh, trademark orange, yellow, whatever what color we're gonna call it, tape that allows it to float to us in the ocean. <laughs> uh, but it is a mini PC that's kind of a ripoff of the Intel gaming NUX that come with, uh, well, this very specific Intel CPU that comes with Vega graphics on board. So um, the performance looks pretty good, but I had to pick it up for myself to see if it actually is worth getting. So let's just take all this tape off and see what we got inside. All right, guys, it is now time to open this package up. This might take us a minute. It might take us a minute. But while Jackson is opening it up, we're going to discuss this weird CPU. This is an i5-8305G, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, 8305G. It does come with RX Vega graphics built Ooh. into the CPU, which is very strange. Uh, AMD graphics on an Intel CPU, but you know what? That's actually a thing. And uh, yeah, this is kind of a ripoff of a uh, Intel NUC that was very popular a long time ago, but those Vega graphics look pretty powerful and promising. <laughs> we gotta see if it has the skull. That's what I'm excited about. Yes. It's supposed to have a knockoff looking skull. What'd you do if it just like, oh my gosh. Just think of all the things it could, well, yeah, I can kind of kind of see oh, it. Oh yeah, it, it glows. It, it, I think it does glow. Yeah. Ooh. So we got to plug this it. This thing's up actually see. like really. I mean, it's it's not much bigger than like our typical mini PC, I and mean, mini PC would be cut in half pretty much. Yeah. Um, definitely has a big power brick. It's a hunt key. And what hunt do you key. know? It's a hunt key. Uh, 180 watts. So definitely pulls some power. They actually included an HDMI cable. Uh, we have our adapter here for the power brick. It actually comes with a US you know, power cords, that's cool. Um, the actual uh, system itself, I guess we can call this the NUC. I mean, yeah, I it's kind it, of a NUC. It actually has a lot of ports. What the heck is that? I don't know. Like, is that like a storage expansion? I don't know. But we have four USB 3s in the front. We have a uh, we have two audio jacks here in and out. We have USB-C, we have a power button. Uh, and on the back, we oh have God. dual ethernet, <laughs> dual mini display port out, dual HDMI out and then four USB 2s and our power port. That's this, a lot of ports. Yeah, that's a lot of ports. Um, hmm, I'm trying to think of what order. Do we want to Do we want to pop this open? Yeah, if it looks like you can pop it's it like, open. There's supposed to be a screw there and it's just not. Oh, it's missing. It's it's already been tampered with. Uh, it looks like we have two really big fans. It reminds me of a laptop. It has like yeah. those laptop fan vibes. Laptop fan vibes. Laptop fan Considering vibes. it's just some weird CPU with integrated graphics. It's kind of like a Pretty laptop minus the screen. And with a lot more ports. Was that the right okay. way? Um, yeah, it looks oh. like the lid just pops off now. Yeah. Oh God, I almost like yeah. needed that stuff. So yeah, it looks like we have a, I think that's a, yeah, that's actually Intel. It's a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi module. It's the AX200 NGW. We have a 256 gig SCY, uh, it looks like M.2 PCIe. It's probably not NVMe. We actually have another M.2 here that's actually open. Um, it looks like we have a single stick of 16 gigs of 2666 megahertz. And then if we were to flip this thing over, we would find these screws here are what actually hold the CPU cooler on, um, which is obviously a really beefy cooler from what we could tell. And then here's our like backlit part for the logo. It's a, uh, looks pretty jank, but I mean, I'm sure it's gonna work really well. So I'm just gonna pop this back on uh, cause it kind of clips in place. And then we'll go ahead and turn it on and see what that logo looks like. Cause that's what I'm excited for. If it has lights, it adds money. Hey. <laughs> that's kind of clean though. It definitely, I don't think that looks anything like the other logo, does it? No. Yeah, that one's like just a skull. This one's like a skull with headphones it's and some lightning skull. bolts and some circuitry going through his head. It's actually a really good design though. And uh, you can see, oh, look how bright it is. You can like... What's, well, that's the Wi-Fi <laughs> thing you just unplugged. <laughs> oh man, now I gotta plug him back in. 
main main auxiliary. How do we know which is which? Good? I don't know, man. All right, so yeah, we just popped those back on. They look like little buttons, kind of, and uh, we're gonna screw this back in, and then we're gonna download some games on it, and we're gonna we're gonna be gamers. All right, gamers, this mini PC took me on a very interesting ride. Uh, we're going to talk about some benchmarks real quick. Now, we decided to test this PC in two titles, those being Fortnite and Apex Legends, and I'll explain why we only tested it in two titles. Um, first up in Fortnite Pro settings, we averaged 180 plus FPS, which is pretty impressive for a basically five six hundred dollars mini PC in 2022. But the issue is we are having click issues, meaning that my left mouse button was not working half the time sometimes it would work sometimes it wouldn't I changed my mouse just for Sandy's sake but it just wouldn't allow me to click to shoot somebody so you can see in this benchmark footage I'm running around shooting people but then there's times I'm just standing in front of people and I can't kill them because well I can't use my left mouse button I'm not really sure how that issue happens if you guys have any ideas let me know down below but that was an issue I did experience and we dove into Apex Legends and got good numbers again 1080p 60 plus FPS on pretty much low settings, which is pretty comparable to a system we built with an RX 460. So these integrated graphics, these Vega graphics are extremely underrated and dare I say more powerful than some of the 5600G Vega graphics that are out there right now. These are really, really good and really, I was excited for this PC to be a hidden gem for you guys who want to get into PC gaming and don't want to spend a ton of money right now to pick one of these things up. But we are experiencing the same clicking issue, this time a little bit worse in Apex Legends, and I decided to go ahead and reinstall Windows, and I decided to jump to Windows 11, which in hindsight probably wasn't the best idea with this weird hardware, but regardless, we installed Windows 11, fresh installed, delete all the partitions, installed, good to go. We booted into Windows, and Windows could not automatically find a display driver over the internet like it normally does, where it pulls one, downloads it, and you're good to go. So I went to AMD's website to download a driver. The auto detect tool does not detect valid hardware okay good sign right no not good sign uh, then we decided to do some googling and realize that Intel is the one who supports this driver and just a few weeks ago they actually released a new driver for Windows 11 for this thing I thought it was in the clear thought it was good to go downloaded that thing tried to install failed again did not work whatsoever it just kept failing on me over and over and over again and I just started to think is there a chance that this is using such proprietary weird hardware that these drivers are not working properly? You gotta know, Intel makes these nooks with these i5s and i7s, and I bet there might be some firmware in this driver that doesn't allow this company to actually, well, repurpose those and use them, which I think is a bad move by Intel or AMD if that is the case. But the sad part is it just will not work. I cannot get a gaming driver on there, and it just does not perform very well without a driver. It struggles, you can't get full resolution, Solution. It basically performs like a basic Windows uh, display adapter. So unfortunately, can't get it up and running. I decided to revert back to Windows 10 just to make sure I wasn't crazy and it did not work in Windows 10. Also, I actually contacted the seller, which did send over a driver, but it's a driver without an executable and I could not figure out for the life of me how to install it. There may be an update at some point in the comment section down below of me trying to figure this out. But after I've done some research and seen that there are people out there who have actually gotten these PCs and they worked and as you can see from the performance before I did everything it worked great I just believe I got a dud and unfortunately I tried to fix it myself and I just made the problem worse so long story short if you get a working one of these PCs these are an absolute gem but just don't go through the process I went through because I really think I messed some stuff up here um, yeah that's about it how about we bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick all right guys so as you could probably or probably not tell by the benchmarks this PC, gaming-wise, is really good on paper. Like, overall, for the price of under $600, this is one of the best mini PCs we've actually checked out. But the downside to it is it is janky in many ways. The, both the HDMI ports for us barely worked, like disconnecting, artifact, and all kinds of weird things. So we had to use one of the mini display ports to HDMI to actually do our benchmarks. And once we actually got into Windows, we couldn't actually get like a legit driver from Intel's website that is supposed to be for this. Instead, it kind of came with a weird, you know, aftermarket one that was probably made by someone. And we reinstalled Windows because the games wouldn't work properly. The left click to shoot was like not there. So reinstalled Windows, then we couldn't get the driver back. And at that point it was like, all right, well, we've tried everything. 
There may be a chance that you're watching this outro and during the benchmarking section, I told you, well, I figured out the problem. And if that's the case, well, you probably wouldn't see that whole Jackson rant. It probably is just all gone. But if you are seeing this, well, it's a mess. So in regards to the performance, it's awesome. It's worth picking up if you can actually get one. But the only issue is if you were to pick this up, you may have a better experience. There is an i7 version that I've seen a decent amount of people do reviews of, and they haven't had any real issues. It could just be a case that we have a dud here, but the only problem is when you buy a dud from AliExpress, that is a very long process to get a return <laughs> or a replacement. So buyers be warned, if you can get a functioning one, it's a pretty cool piece of hardware. And if you do want to check it out, link description down below, be an affiliate link and it will help us out. But uh, yeah, it was a little bit of a journey and I would be very uh, cautious when looking at this PC for your next uh, purchase. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And hey, this PC, well, besides it maybe not gaming the best, it still works overall. And we paid like over 600 bucks for it. So if you want to get something like this at a severe discount since it doesn't work perfectly, check out PCBros.Tech. Severe discount. PCBros.Tech is our PC selling business. We sell gaming PCs all the way up to like $6,000. And uh, these PCs that, well, we showcase on videos and they don't work very well. So we sell it to you for very, very cheap if you're someone who likes to fix stuff. So PCBros.Tech, check out our website. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.